We started in the summer. I had two students, but my son is always going to be a volunteer because, you know, he hangs with me. Um, so we had the panels, four on this side, four on that side, and it was set up so that each student has their own space canvas so that they can paint their interpretation of what America's paradise looks like, a preserving paradise looks like. So they were given an assignment, what does it mean by preserving paradise, or what is paradise? So they came up with their own sketches, um, they turned it into me, I said, okay, and we went with it. So they did their very best to put their interpretation on the wall, from paper to wall, which is not always the easiest thing, but they did a really good job um, transforming their ideas on the wall. Um, we do hope that, you know, we had, I don't want to say vandalism, but we had some alterations in the wall that was not done by the students. Um, that was super disappointing, um, but we came up and we did it all over again and now the wall is an interpretation of the students and what they feel um, paradise is for the mural I got to make my own design um, for the design that I originally came up with and with help of my mother was I just got some other plants growing inside of a tire since you know how Tires can also pollute as well as bottles in um, dumps since it's easy to just place it there when it's not used or just flat out. I decided to use the tire as some kind of pot for the plants to grow into. We really need to um, understand what's going to happen if we don't like recycle or take good care of the plants because if we don't, everything's just going to look all a mess and dark and nothing very colorful or pretty to look at. One of the treasures na of nature is beauty. This too should be preserved. This quote means to me is that anything that humans hold dear to them is like the trees or the land. It it's like that to the earth. And if we destroy it, then the earth will no longer be habitable. And if the world no longer is habitable, then humanity won't exist anymore and our families will just be cut off. So if you preserve this now, then all of our families will have a future. Okay, so this is um, me and my best friend's design. She currently can't be here right now, but um, we basically picked this to get the aspect of St. Thomas and the beautiful beaches behind of it. And basically, I really wanted to do this, well, mainly to get my hours, but at the same time, I kind of enjoy doing it because St. Thomas is just so beautiful and we have so many beautiful beaches behind of it and that's what really I really wanted to point out with this painting. Well, the easiest way to spread the movement of keeping our island clean is through the kids because I sure bet that um, Amalia, uncle, grandmother, cousins, aunts they will not litter around this area because you know this is part of her and what she has done for her community so i think you know i would like to get a lot of the students in i publicize it for them you know community service hours come and get it um, because a lot of them are wondering how am i going to do community service during a pandemic we're outside it's art it's expressive and it's something away from book and paper it's creativity and it's like a release for some of the students who don't have it otherwise. So that's what I like it and I like art and as an assistant principal I don't have a class anymore so this is my classroom. Um, I work with the kids up close and that's something that I really need in this career. If I'm not with my kids then it doesn't feel the same. I just joined waste management and this is something that was just I was I just jumped into because I thought it was absolutely amazing. I started working with Miss Hodge and I met the kids and I was hooked. I just wanted to do what was you know what was the best thing. The bin sites need to be just updated, look better and they're giving that to us. And I just really hope that people will embrace them, see what they're doing and not, you know, throw their trash anywhere. Just 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 embrace the bin size and embrace what these children are doing. This is amazing. You should get in on it. And everybody can get on, get on it. It doesn't have to be kids or you don't have to be an artist. If you want to participate, if you want to come to the to the to any of the sites, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, help clean up, help paint, help beautify our area. We would absolutely love you there.